So I usually wouldn't show opening up this package. It's a gift for somebody that I bought off eBay. There's twofold things wrong with this. Okay. First off, let's look right here. Okay. It was shipped on 827. Okay. It got here on 828, which seems, you know, hey, that's great. It wasn't, it was in the same state as I'm, I'm in. It, you know, no problem. Let's look at the listing. And I'll show you what's wrong there. Okay, so the seller basically lied when they shipped it off. You know, no big deal. I got it before I needed it. Okay, so now let's watch this. This is the day it came. It showed up on uh, August 28th. Okay, it was three days late according to what eBay said it was going to do, or what, what, according to what the seller said they were going to ship it, and it was going to arrive. But now let's watch this video of the, uh, the mail carrier and see what she did with the package. Okay, so now you see this is why i started doing these mailbag monday videos i was opening packages they were broken and damaged and it was hard to get file claims for get my money back on because of internal damages that i couldn't prove that were internal damages unless i did these videos so seeing what that mail carrier did i had to do this video and you know you, you pay somebody or you pay the post office fifteen dollars and fifty cents fifteen dollars to ship a box that's barely you know, almost two pounds, okay? Let's just say two pounds. $15, and that's how they treat our mail, our packages, our stuff that we pay them. So I'm going to open this up, and I'm hoping there's not anything damaged in it. Because one thing, what's in here is pretty rare, I guess you say. It's not, you know, something stupid rare, but it's like, I'll never find these again in the time I need them. So let's open this up and see how well they're packaged and maybe they're in good shape. Maybe they're not. So first off, just look at them. They look like they're in pretty good shape. Now let's tell you, see what these are. What these are is tumblers for Chevron in Pascoe, Mississippi here. My dad worked here up until the late 90s. And this is their 20th anniversary. His birthday's coming up. I figured he would get a kick out of these. You know, maybe he'll use them. Maybe he won't. Maybe he'll show them off on his, you know, his dresser or something like that. But I figured he'd like them. So, I got them. I'm going to go ahead and open up all of these just to make sure they're not damaged. So if they are, I'm going to file a claim against the post office. And, and we'll go from that way. They seem to be in good shape so far. And let's get to this last one here. Yeah, I appreciate the seller using this bubble wrap. Because if they didn't, there's no telling what shape these might have been. The handles might be broken off. They might have been chipped or, you know. I understand that these things are, you know, almost, you know, they're almost 20 years old. So, but they are in just the shape that their seller shipped them in, which is a good thing, because, you know, I don't want to go for the hassle of fighting the post office over something. But it just goes to show you, you know, for one, you know, they, they said they shipped it on the 20th. It didn't ship out to the 27th. You know, why'd you lie? Don't lie to me. Don't lie to eBay. I paid you good money. Just do, do the right thing. And then the post office treating the package like that, and then how they treated other packages on my other mailbag Monday, it just makes me mad. You know, we pay them to do the service in a timely, orderly, safely fashion, and you shove my mail in my mailbox and possibly damage, and you just throw packages, just toss them on my doorstep like, ah, oh, it's not my problem. You know, I got those cameras for, you know, safety and security of the house, and I'm glad I have them because as things like that happen, like this, who's to say it wasn't the seller? But if I can go roll back that camera, I can see... That that mail carrier just said, up oh, the heck with it, and just dumped it off my front porch. You know, what if, this, what if these were glass? They would have been broken. I would have been mad. You know, just downright mad. So, there's my gripe about that one.